Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Orthographic projection is a technique for drawing a three-dimensional object in two dimensions by projecting its surface into a two-dimensional representation. Where the projection lines are orthogonal, the projection plan in the construction industry. The term elevation refers to an orthographic projection of the exterior faces of a building. That is, a two-dimensional drawing of the building's facades as buildings are rarely simple rectangular shapes in plan. An elevation drawing is a first angle projection that shows all parts of the building as seen from a particular direction with the perspective flattened. Generally, elevations are produced for four directional views, for example, north, south, east and west. However, they can contain a great deal of detail depending on the reason for this preparation, while insufficient information on elevations can mean that they do not properly satisfy the need for which they are prepared. Very detailed elevations can be time consuming and expensive to prepare. It is most important therefore that the reason for the drawing is clear and the level of detail required is specified. Historically, buildings have been drawn by hand on two-dimensional paper and so orthogonal projection and the drawing of two-dimensional plans and elevations have been the standard means of representation. However, increasingly buildings are being drawn using computer-aided design or building information modeling software that represents them in three dimensions. Two-dimensional elevations can be generated from these 3D models, but they do not need to be drawn individually. General arrangements drawing present the overall composition of an object such as the building depending on the complexity of the building. This is likely to require a number of different projections such as plants, sections and elevations and may be spread across several different drawings. They may be referred to as local drawings as they show the location of various components and assemblies within the overall design. But this can be confused with the location drawings indicating the geographical location of the building. General arrangements drawing are likely to be prepared at each stage of development of your building design, showing the overall relationship between the main elements and the key dimensions. The level of detail will increase as the project progress and they may be need to be supplemented by more detailed drawings showing specific elements and assemblies. On very simple projects, these may be included on the general arrangement drawings themselves, but generally separate drawings will be required. They may also include notation and symbols. It is important that, that these are consistent with industry standards so that their precise meaning is clear and can be understood. The scale at which drawings are prepared should reflect the level of detail of the information they are required to convey. Different line thickness can be used to provide great clarity for certain elements. They may be drawn to scale by hand or prepared using computer aided design software. However, increasingly, building information modeling is being used to create three dimensional representations of buildings and their components. Technical drawings may be comprised to two-dimensional plans, sections and elevations or may include three-dimensional or exploded projections. They may be drawn to scale by hand or prepared using computer-aided design. However, increasingly, building information modeling software is being used to create three-dimensional representations of buildings and their components. They may be described as design intent models during the early stages of development but then may evolve into virtual construction models and finally as constructed models. They may also include notation and symbols. It is important that, that these are consistent with industry standards so that their precise meaning is clear and can be understood. If you impressed this video, please like this video and share it to your friends. Also, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates.